friends welcome to tivan academy so today we have to see one of the important area so which is related with this telangana history kutub shahi of golconda that we can see one of the important area that is kutub shahis kutub shahi of golconda kutub shahi of golconda we can see okay this golconda that is also called Kutub Shahi is a Golconda, right? So then, Golconda that was administered by this Kutub Shahi dynasty. Bahmani Empire that was disintegrated. Bahmani Rajam Chili Pindi. With that, five kingdoms came to force in Bahmani Empire. Bahmani Rajam Aiduga Chili Pai, Aidur Ajja Lerpada. With that incident, Golconda is also one of the important ones which became independent. ఈ గోల్కొండ అనేది స్వతంత్ర రాజ్యంగా ఆవిర్భవించినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది సో లైక్ దాట్ కుతుబ్ షాహీలు పరిపాలన చేశారు దిస్ కుతుబ్ షాహీస్ ఒరిజినలీ బిలాంగ్ టు పర్షియా కారా కునీల్ ట్రైబ్ అని అన్నాం సో దిస్ గోల్కొండాస్ ఒరిజినల్ నేమ్ గోల్కొండ దట్ వాస్ ప్రీవియస్లీ కాల్డ్ మంగళవరం దిస్ గోల్కొండ వాస్ కాల్డ్ గోల్కొండాస్ ఒరిజినల్ నేమ్ There is Golconda's original name, if we see, Mangalavaram. It was called, how in the sense, it was called Mangalavaram. Mangalavaram. Okay, Mangalavaram. So, this Gola community people or Yadava community people, they were taking their cattle for grazing and morning to evening they used to be there only. This Yadava is the same as the Pashuului Vanni Thiskwani Mepadani Kellavar. so for grazing purpose akada tiskelevallu morning to evening they used to be there that's why so this mangalavaram name changed as gollakonda and gollakonda became golkonda this mangalavaram name so that was changed as mangalavaram changed as changed as gollakonda this gollakonda we can say this gollakonda later became golkonda Golakonda became, later it became, later it became Golakonda. Golakonda we can see. Got idea? So this Bahmani Empire that was disintegrated. Bahmani Empire that existed. You know Bahmani Empire came into force in the year 1347. Allah Uddin Hasan Gangu Bahman Shah, he was the founder of this Bahmani Empire. Bahmani Empire that was disintegrated. Five kingdoms came into force. Bahamani Empire was. This Bahamani Empire was. Empire was disintegrated. Disintegrated. Bahamani Empire that was disintegrated. And five kingdoms came into force. And five kingdoms came into force. Five kingdoms. these five kingdoms came into force five kingdoms came into force okay so in that five kingdoms golconda is also one which administered this one kutub shahis they were also people kutub shahi dynasty administered this golconda what's the period of these golconda sultans they originally came in 1512 but independent administration that has started from 1518 okay like that So, five kingdoms came into force. Do you want to know the names of these five kingdoms? Which are these five kingdoms came into force after the decline of this Bahmani Empire? So, this, you know, Bahmani Empire is integrated. But Bahmani Empire came into force in which year? This Bahmani Empire. Bahmani Empire is the same thing. So, came into force. Bahmani Empire came into force in the year. In the year. came into force in 1347 in 1347 only this came into force it was started by alauddin hasan gangu bahman shah this bahmani empire was started by this bahmani empire was started by bahmani empire this bahmani empire was started by was started by okay it was started by whom in the sense it was started by alauddin hasan gangu bahman shah but later it is integrated okay started by 
अल्लाउद्दीन 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 हसन गंगू हसन गंगू अल्लाउद्दीन हसन गंगू बहमन शाह बहमन शाह दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर बट लैट दिस वॉज डिसइंटीग्रेटेड एंड फाइव किंगडम से मच लैट इट वॉज डिसइंटीग्रेटेड और डिक्लाइन लैट लैट दिस एम्पायर डिक्लाइंड दिस एम्पायर डिक्लाइंड and five kingdoms came into force and from this bahmani only and from bahmani empire only ee bahmani rajyam nundi bahmani empire five kingdoms emerged okay ee bahmani rajyam nundi aidu rajyalu erpadda ani cheppesannam one among them is golconda from bahmani empire only golconda also emerged okay when bahmani empire disintegrated okay this empire declined and from bahmani empire five kingdoms came five kingdoms emerged five kingdoms emerged one among them is golconda empire okay there is golconda that was administered by qutub shahi dynasty golconda was administered by this golconda was administered by qutub shahis golconda was administered by administered was administered by qutub shahi dynasty qutub shahi is we can say okay administered by which dynasty administered by qutub shahi dynasty qutub shahi is qutub shahi is that you have to which are these five kingdoms birar bida bijapur golconda ahmednagar these five kingdoms if you see one is birar one is bidar birar bidar bijapur bijapur five kingdoms bijapur golconda golconda and ahmednagar and ahmednagar okay ahmednagar like this how many kingdoms came into force five kingdoms came into force sometimes in the examination which dynasty administered so there is a five kingdoms maths of following that may be asked in maths of following sometimes the question may be asked that's why you have to know this which dynasty administered these kingdoms already we know golconda that was administered by qutub shahis birar was administered by birar that was administered by imad shahi imad shahi dynasty birar that was administered by imad shahi dynasty bidar barid shahi dynasty barid shahi dynasty bijapur adil adil shahi dynasty first one is birar this birar that was administered by imad shahi dynasty then bida that was administered by barid shahi dynasty then bijapur adil shahi dynasty golconda that was administered by qutub shahi dynasty qutub shahis okay then ahmednagar that was administered by nizam shahis nizam shahis that you have to remember so like this these are the dynasties which administered golconda uh, uh, so yeah, regions or kingdoms among them golconda is also one golconda that was administered by qutub shahi dynasty golconda ne paripalana chesina vallu qutub shahi lu they people originally belongs to persia we lay the shani chandra vallu they belong to persia today persia is called iran emantunam today persia is called iran ani annam okay they belong to qutub shahis qutub shahis belong to belong to persia belong to which one qutub shah is belong to persia so there is belong to which one persia like that it was said so turani tribe so irani turani like that they were there kara kunil mainly turani in the sense that asad jahis so this uh, here what happened they belong to kara kunil tribe so belong to persia kara kunil kara kunil tribe 
this one belong to which one kara kunil tribe like that it was said otherwise kara kunil tribe like that it was said okay kara kunil tribe belong to persia kara kunil tribe they belong to shias they belong to they belonged to shia group shias category we can say they belong to shias in muslim religion in muslim religion in muslim religion they belong to shias so if we take moguls mogal people belong to sunnis moguls are sunnis like that we can say but these people they are shias so got idea so they belong to shias in muslim religion so that is also one capital was golconda so their capital golconda capital capital that is golconda we can say capital was golconda have you got idea so the capital of these people that is golconda we can say then so there is especially the first ruler in this dynasty sultan kuli qutb shah was the first ruler the first ruler in this dynasty the first ruler the first ruler in this dynasty in this dynasty the first ruler in this dynasty so there is was the first ruler in this dynasty sultan kuli qutb shah sultan kuli qutb shah was the first ruler qutb shah was the first ruler in this dynasty when he established the empire the empire that was started by this one only. got idea so there is sultan kuli qutb shah he was the founder capital golconda and then languages languages if you see which languages so the first ruler in this dynasty sultan kuli qutb shah then we can see greatest ruler in this dynasty greatest ruler greatest ruler greatest ruler in this dynasty muhammad kuli qutb shah muhammad this muhammad kuli qutb shah muhammad kuli qutb shah he was the greatest ruler in this dynasty muhammad kuli qutb shah was the greatest ruler in this dynasty that also you have to remember and then after the last ruler in this dynasty the last ruler in this dynasty the last ruler in this dynasty okay abul hasan tanisha was the last ruler abul hasan the sabul hasan abul hasan tanisha Abul Hasan Tarisha he was the last ruler in this dynasty like that language persian and urdu they continued what languages they existed what are the languages continued in this period languages if we see languages languages persian and urdu persian and urdu languages they continued in the period of this one is persian language we can say and one is urdu language you can say who was called chazar of urdu language ibrahim kuli was called chazar of urdu language ibrahim kuli qutb shah was called this ibrahim ibrahim kuli qutb shah was called kuli qutb shah ibrahim kuli qutb shah was called was called chazar of urdu literature or urdu language chazar of urdu language okay it's called chazar of urdu language urdu language it was called chazar of urdu language ibrahim kuli qutb shah was called chazar of urdu language like that it was said basically who was chazar chazar father of english literature father of english literature we can say ibrahim kuli father of urdu language or literature the language or literature like that it was said okay literature so then chazar of ibrahim kuli qutb shah was called like that the last ruler in this dynasty abul hasan tanisha they gave much importance to hindu community so these people are secular in nature these people they are 
very secular in nature they were secular in nature they were they were secular they were secular in nature they were secular in nature like that it was said so this kudusha is of golconda they are very secular in nature like that we can say then who are the rulers who administer this golconda that we can see names of the rulers what names are there names of these rulers if we see what are the names of these rulers names of rulers if we see these names of rulers the first ruler in this dynasty sultan kuli qutub shah was the first ruler sultan kuli qutub shah sultan kuli Sultan Kuli Qutb Shah was the first ruler in this dynasty. Sultan Kuli Qutb Shah was the first ruler in this dynasty. He was stabbed and killed by his son Jamshid and second one Jamshid came to power. Jamshid he came to power and third ruler after Jamshid Jamshid's son was 3 years old boy. He was appointed for some time only few 2 3 months after that he was removed and so jamshid's brother ibrahim kuli qutb shah he came to power ibrahim this ibrahim kuli qutb shah ibrahim kuli qutb shah he came to power after jamshid after ibrahim kuli qutb shah so ibrahim kuli qutb shah son was muhammad kuli qutb shah muhammad kuli qutb shah came to power Muhammad Kuli Qutb Shah he came to power first ruler in this dynasty Sultan Kuli Qutb Shah second one Jamshid third one Ibrahim Kuli fourth one Muhammad Kuli Muhammad Kuli had no sons that's why son in law came to power idani putra santana lenandu valla mari em ayindanatlayite so idani kumarthe bharata rajyani kochadu Muhammad Kuli had no sons that's why his daughter's husband that is son in law came to power his name Muhammad Qutb Shah first even you can write the so years when did they come to power this one in the year 1512 but independent empire came into force in 1518 and continued till 1543 jamshid came in the year 1543 continued till 1550 jamshid ibrahim kuli qutb shah 1550 and he continued till 1580 so there is ibrahim kuli Muhammad Kuli came in the year 1580 continued till 1612 okay you know well Muhammad Kuli Qutb Shah then Muhammad Qutb Shah came to power who came to power Muhammad Qutb Shah he came to power see this Muhammad Qutb Shah Muhammad Qutb Shah he came to power in the year so this in the year 1612 okay in the year 1612 one came to power this one this one period that is ended in the year 1612 and now who came to power so this one came to power 1612 so 1612 and 1626 like that he continued after that abdullah hussein qutb shah came to power abdullah abdullah hussein abdullah hussein Qutb Shah came to power so that is 1626 and continued till 1672 the last ruler in this dynasty was abul hasan thani shah who was the last ruler in this dynasty abul hasan abul hasan thani shah ye abul hasan thani shah asthanam lo nivasinchina valle so there is akkanna madana ani antaram 1672 nunchi పదహారు వందల ఎనభై ఏడు వరకు మరి పరిపాలన చేసినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది సో గోల్కొండ ఎంపైర్ కేమ్ టు ఎండ్ ఇన్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ గోల్కొండ వాజ్ ద క్యాపిటల్ దే లాంగ్వేజెస్ పర్షియన్ అండ్ ఉర్దూ లాంగ్వేజెస్ దే కంటిన్యూడ్ ఇన్ ద పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ పీపుల్ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద రూలర్స్ హూ అడ్మినిస్టర్ టిల్ ఎయిటీన్ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిటీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ మరి సిక్స్టీన్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ అని తర్వాత ఎందుకు వీళ్ళు కొనసాగలేదంటే దెన్ ఇన్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ 
ಮೊಘಲ್ ಎಂಪರರ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಅಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಗೋಲ್ಕೊಂಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋಲ್ಕೊಂಡ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಮೊಘಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಗಾಟ್ ವಿಕ್ಟರಿ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಲರ್ ಅಬುಲ್ ಹಸನ್ ತಾನಿಷಾ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಫೀಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಬುಲ್ ಹಸನ್ ತಾನಿಷಾ ಅಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಫೀಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಬುಲ್ ಹಸನ್ ತಾನಿಷಾ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಲರ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಲರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಫೀಟೆಡ್ last ruler was defeated in the hands of in the hands of last ruler was defeated in the hands of okay aurangzeb you know this aurangzeb aurangzeb among great mughals aurangzeb is also one he came in the year 1658 1658 only came to power and continued till 1707 that's a period of aurangzeb you know well and when aurangzeb attacked this one it became very tough for them to get control over this golconda but chaala kashtapadinatlu ga telustundi nella rojulu poratam chesina valitham lekunda poyindi and mottham chuttumuttinappadi gulaga golconda dwaralu teravaleka poyaru it's a big as very big and lengthy doors i there's rock doors they existed during that time mari itondi sandarbhamlo chivariki aurangzeb sainikulu ಈ ಅಬುಲ್ ಹಸನ್ ತಾನಿಷಾ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಲಂಚಮ್ ಇಚ್ಛಿ ಅಲಾ ಮರಿ ವಾಳತ್ವನೇ ಓಪನ್ ಚೇಯಿಂಚಿನಟ್ಲಗಾ ತಿರಿಸ್ತಂದಿ ಸೊ ಇಂದ ಇಂದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇಸ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಮರಿ ಗೋಲ್ಕೊಂಡ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಬ ದೇಸ್ ಗೋಲ್ಕೊಂಡ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಬ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಬ ಸುಬ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಬ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸುಬಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಜಹಾನ್ಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಸುಬಾಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಬೈ ಔರಂಗಜೇಬ್ among all mughal rulers so he was not the greatest ruler that you have to remember akbar was the greatest ruler among all the rulers of mughals but very vast empire very big empire that was established by this aurangzeb at last golconda went under the control of this one golconda went under the control of aurangzeb and it became 21st suba 20 ekar rashtranga marinatlu ga telustundi ee golconda ani cheppesa namila golconda nu kendranga cheskoni paripalana chesina vallanu ಏಮನಿ ಅನ್ನಂ ಕುತುಬ್ ಶಾಹೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಚೆಪ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅನ್ನಂ ವೀಳ್ಳು ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾಕು ಚೆಂದಿನ ವಾಳ್ಳು ಟುಡೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಔ ಟುಡೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇರಾನ್ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ನೇಮ್ ಉಂಟು ನಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇರಾನ್ ಇರಾನ್ ಅನಿ ಅನ್ನಂ ಇರಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಟೆಹ್ರಾನ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದೆ ಮೈಗ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡಂಡರ್ ಬಹಮನಿ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಬಹಮನಿ ರಾಜ್ಯಂಲೋ ಪನಿ ಚೇಸಾರು ತರ್ವಾತ ಕಾಲಂಲೋ ಎಪ್ಪುಡೈತೇ ಬಹಮನಿ ರಾಜ್ಯಂ ಬೆಟಲು ವಾಡಂ ಮೊದಲೈಂದೋ ಇಡ್ವಂಡಿ ಸಂದರ್ಬಂಲೋ ಸೋ ದೆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ವಾಡಾಪಣ್ಣಿ ದೆ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಎಪ್ಪುಡೈತೇ ಬೆಟಲು ವಾಡಂ ಜರಿಗಿಂದೋ ಇಡ್ವಂಡಿ ಸಂದರ್ಬಂಲೋನೇ ಈ ಗೋಲ್ಕೊಂಡ ಸಾಮ್ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮೇರ್ಪಡಿನಟ್ಲಗಾ ತೆಲಿಸ್ತಂದಿ ಏನು ಜಪ್ಪೆ ಸಿ ಏನಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಗುರ್ತುಂದಾ ಮರಿ ಸೊ ಏಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಾರು ವೀಳ್ಳನಟ್ಲೈತೇ ಪರ್ಷಿಯನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಉರ್ದು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ತೆಲುಗು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಪ್ರಜಲ್ ಏನು ಭಾಷೆ ಮಾತಾಡಿನಾರಂಟೇ ತೆಲುಗು ಭಾಷನೇ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಡ ಜರಿಗಿಂದಿ ಅಂತ ಚೆಪ್ಪೇಸಿ ಅನ್ನಾಂ ಎಂದುಕಂಟೇ ವೀಳ್ಳು ತೆಲುಗು ಕವುಲನು ಪಂಡಿತಲನು ಕೂಡ ಆದರಿಸಿನಟ್ಲಗಾ ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಂದಿ ಕಂದುಕೂರಿ ರುದ್ರಕವಿ ಅದ್ದಂಗಿ ಗಂಗಾಧರ ಕವಿ ಪೊನ್ನೆಗಂಟಿ ದೆಲಗನಾರ್ಯ ಮೊದಲೈನ ವಾಳ್ಳಂತಾ ವೀಳ್ಳ ಆಸ್ಥಾನಂಲೋ ಉನ್ನಾರು ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಯ್ಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಯ್ಯ ರಾಸಿನಟ್ಟಿವಂಟಿವಿ ಮೂವ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಪದಾಲು ಅನ್ನಿ ಅನ್ನಾಂ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಯ್ಯ ಮೂವ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಪದಾಲು
Thank you.